on the show tonight is a regular act at the original Improv in New York. He's also a writer for Caroline's Comedy Hour. So let's get things started, have a lot of fun, and please welcome Dave Attell. Dave Attell. are a good crowd. I was doing a show last night, it sucked. I walk out on stage, a guy right in front of me starts screaming at me. He's like, get off, get off please, get off. I look down, I'm standing on his hand, okay? So, I'm from New York, I'm glad to get out of there. That place is just full of crazy people. I mean, it's the only place where you can say things like, hey, check out that guy with no pants swinging that machete. No, not that one, that one. Look at him. It's like a convention. I was in a gun store today and uh, they were having a going back to school sale, so uh, I don't want to miss that. You know, guns in high schools. I'll tell you right now, I am frightened for my girlfriend, because, um, <laughs> no, in three years, she's going to high school. I don't know what to tell her. You know, it's very scary and yet true. When I was in high school, I hitchhiked. You ever hitchhike? That's the way to see America, huh? Bound and gagged in the trunk of a lunatic's car. <laughs> Driving along with a jack rubbing up against you. Or whatever his name is, it really doesn't matter. You know what I'm talking about. <laughs> you watch the news, you know how violent it is? I think they should let the mafia do the news. Because they know what's going to happen anyhow, don't you think? It'd be so much easier. It's like, a man was shot several times tomorrow. <laughs> There will be no witnesses. <laughs> the lottery numbers are 16, 32, 8, 9, 7, and 5. Congratulations, Vinny. Again, you are a lucky fella. Right now, I'm going to piss everybody off. Here we go. Put that out. I don't mind, though. Smoking. I smoke a lot, boy. I smoke two packs a day, and I wear the nicotine patch, so. That's like a thousand cigarettes a day. I know it's a lot, because I went to the bathroom, a camel came out of my ass, all right? Marie, oh my God, I gotta cut down. I don't know, man, I'm lonely. That's what I am, boy. I was on a date with this really hot model. Just play along, all right? And, uh, <laughs> She comes up to me, she's like, you know, you look a lot like Paul Simon and a lot more like Gilligan. Did you know that? Like, if they had a baby, it would be you. Sex is not that important to me. You know what's important to me? That afterwards part. You know, when you're both naked and it's warm and you're watching the sun come up through the windshield and yeah. Sometimes it's so good, I pull over. You know what I'm saying? And then there's that special moment. You know that moment when your eyes meet hers and you know, you know she's not gonna press charges? Oh. Oh, what a feeling. I went to one of these sex stores, you know the kind. You and your friends, you go in and you laugh at all the stuff and then you go home and then you race back alone and buy it all. I bought my girlfriend a vibrator. She dumped me. No, she called me up the next day. She's like, Dave, yeah, I don't know how to tell you this, but uh, listen, I want to be alone for a long time. I just want to have children. That's what I want, man. I adopted a kid in a foreign country. Have you ever tried that? For like a buck a day, you got a kid? It's pretty cool. I'm a good father, too. Christmas, I sent him a football. He wrote me a letter, got the football. It was delicious. And, uh, <laughs> Guys, man, you gotta have friends. That's important, isn't it, friends? What's the difference between a friend and a best friend? I don't know. To me, a friend's a guy who will help you move, right? A best friend's a guy who will help you move a body. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I thought so. Man, I'm flying out again, man. Flying, going to Australia. You ever go? It takes like two days to fly there. And when you get there, it's earlier than when you left. When I landed, I called my house, I picked up the phone, okay? 
I'm talking to myself. Every time I fly, I'm afraid of these terrorist guys. I don't know how they get on the planes. They gotta make reservations over the phone, right? What's that like? Hello? I'd like to make a reservation. Oh no, one way. <laughs> My name? Hold on. Oh, Joe. Here's a fun thing to do when you're flying, all right? When the guy next to you falls asleep, put your life vest on, your oxygen mask, and yell, we're going down. You'll definitely get the armrest after that, okay? This is fun. So I got some good news. I auditioned for a commercial, for a TV commercial, and uh, sorry, bud. I auditioned for a commercial, and uh, I go in. You know, they ask me to pick this up, and the guy's like, all I want you to do is take a sip of Coke and act like you love it. I'm like, all right. Oh, yeah. Oh, uh, uh, uh. Mommy. I didn't get it, but uh, he keeps calling me. You know what I'm saying? And, uh, thank you very much. You guys do a lot of fun.